Hi guys, so while I was making my little paper mock-up, I have decided that the original size that I was going to make my controller is just a little bit too small. I would much prefer it, I feel, if it was doubled in size. A little bit over-exaggerated again. This is why this planning stage is so important. So instead of being 12 centimetres, by 5.3 I am going to double it so I'm going to obviously need to sketch my net out on a larger piece of paper so this is how it looks in order to make that box up again I've got the top and the bottom of my box I've got my side panels now again I have three so that I can have two on the outside and this one can be on the inside to secure it together so I don't need to have any tape or any kind of real join and then again the same with either side I've got a smaller section here that can fold over and give me a completely solid box before I then move on so this is a rough idea of what I'm going to need in terms of my net I just need to double the size of it so I am going to start to measure out my design I can find my ruler Again, I know that I need to have my three edges, so that's what I am going to start off with. So initially, I am going to go with all right. So I need to double up my width, which I had started off as 1.5. However, I am going to double that to three. So I'm going to make that three, and then I'm going to make the width of my box instead of 12 I am um, well it's 12.3 I'm going to make it 24 and then I'm going to then measure three centimeters which will be this section here so I've got three I've got 24 I've got three and then the last one that I can tuck under to glue in I don't need it to be quite as long, so I'm going to measure my second section of 24, and then I'll just make my last inside section two centimetres, so I've got a little bit of room to play about with as it folds over. So I can see I've sketched it out, I've marked it off at the top. I'm also going to mark it off slightly further down and match up these lines, so I can try and have it as straight as I possibly can. So again, I'm going to go with three, and then go for 24, 3, another 24, and then 2 at the end. So again, I cannot stress how important it is to make sure that you do your mock-up prior to. So you might want to start off with your slightly smaller size, see what you think, if you think it is realistic, or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more and make it a little bit bigger. So again, I've doubled mine in size. So I'm just going to match up these sections. Again, for you, this is all going to be about problem solving. So how can you create the object you want with the materials that you have? And again, since everyone's going to be slightly different, it is going to mean that you're going to be very independent in your working, your problem solving, and then obviously your teacher can help you out as well. So I've got my measurements for the width. I just need to get these measurements now. So again, I am going to measure three centimetres for my top section. Instead of my 5.3, I'm going to double that and then I'm going to have two centimetres at the bottom. So again, I'm just going to turn my paper all around. So again, I am going to go for three centimetres instead of the 5.3 that we had before. I am just going to round that up and I am going to go with I think we'll go with 11, 11 centimetres and then I need two centimetres at the bottom. So I'm going to go for three, 11 and then two. And then again over here. So if you have quite a large section like what I have, again I would recommend that you mark it out at a few different stages so you can then match that up so you can see my lines are going to match up with the ones that I have already marked 
So it says act it in as straight as I can possibly make it. Again, my last one just at the top here. And you will have something that looks like that. Now, obviously I don't need this section here, so these corners I don't need. I'm just marking them off so I know that I need to cut those out. So all I'm going to do is cut all the way around the perimeter of my net and then we will move on. 